Good evening, and welcome to 60 Minutes. Tonight we will be addressing two important topics, such as anorexia and bulimia. Anorexia is a disorder where a person has an inability to maintain their ideal body weight within 50%. Tonight we will also be investigating bulimia and anorexia together. Thank you for watching, and enjoy the show. Hey, Emma, I just realized that you really haven't been eating lately a lot, and it's just, it's just kind of worrying me. Is everything okay? Yeah, I mean, I had a really big breakfast today, so it's fine. Okay. I'm just not hungry for lunch. Okay. What you just saw was a typical encounter when girls try to confront other anorexic girls. Oftentimes, the anorexic girls will either shrug it off or make excuses. Here to talk more about this issue is Dr. Wilger. Thank you, Dr. Wilger, for joining us tonight. Now that we have learned a little bit about anorexia, can you tell us a little bit more? Yes. Um, well, first of all, the causes of anorexia, there are no really plain answers to the causes of anorexia. Um, it's composed of a mix of social, biological, and emotional factors. There are lots of teenage girls that just, they look up to movie stars and models, and they just, they want to look like as thin as them and be as crude as them. Um, but they really, they don't know that lots of the editing is going into that, and lots of the models, they are just, they're made to be skinny. They have just been cut down, but they are unaware of that. They just think that if you starve yourself and binge and purge that, you'll get to look like that. Um, anorexics, they're usually perfectionist, and they do, they're just like good people. They are never wrong, they're perfect, but they're maybe perfect on the inside, but on the outside, but on the inside, they're, like, they bring themselves down, they put themselves down, they tell them that they're worthless, and to make up for that, they just, they don't, they scrub themselves and don't eat. Um, a biological cause of anorexia is, like, is through, could be through siblings. If a girl who has a sibling who has anorexia, they are, the girl is 10 to 20 times more, um, prone to getting anorexia because they're being around someone who has that and they look up to that. And, yes. um, the treatments, most treatments are therapy. Um, there's many types of therapy. One of them, for example, is family therapy where the person suffering from anorexia and his, their families are going <coughs> to therapy together to talk together and just kind of solve their problems together so the family is more active into it. And if the family is more active, into it, it helps the person who's suffering a little bit more, like, they feel like they're getting more help than they are. Um, there also are antidepressants. There's no known medicine that has been proven to increase the weight of an anorexic, but um, they do have antidepressants for the anorexics because most of the cause, one of the causes is to be, is from depression and just being depressed. Um, so what you should look out for if you think someone is suffering from anorexia is they're obsessed with like nutrition and the fat grams and <coughs> labels of food and counting their calories. Um, they like to pretend to eat and they lie about like what they've eaten. Of like if they say they just had a really big lunch and they don't eat the lunch at all. Like uh, if you go out to lunch with someone and you say, oh no, I don't have to eat anything. It's, it could be not always a result of someone suffering from anorexia. Um, they don't really eat in a public place. They just, they don't like to eat there and they just go eat at home more and they, like, they bring themselves down and they in denial about how they're too thin and they're, like, if they don't want to be, like, they just feel fat. And there, there are so many more symptoms for, of anorexia. If you want to look them up online, you can look and there are many other th symptoms you can find out. Well, thank you for joining us mm -hmm. tonight. Now we have another interview with Emma. Hi Emma, thanks for joining us tonight. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thanks. Now, how long have you been struggling, struggling with your eating disorder? Um, about three years. Um, I think it started in year three. That's been a rough time. So what do you think the main like misconceptions are? What do you wish people would know about your disorder? Um, I wish people could understand the pain I'm going through, mainly. Um, I want them to understand that I want to eat, like, but I just can't. Like, it's part of my eating disorder. Okay. What would you say are the hardest aspects of your illness? Um, I would say overall the eating part. Um, most
most people take for granted um, normally eating every day. Um, however, for me, um, it's a challenge. Okay, well thank you for joining us tonight. I appreciate your interview. Thank you. What you just saw was an example of bulimia. Bulimia is where a person binges and then purges. Here to more talk about the issue is Dr. Wilger. Oh wow, I'm really stuck. That was a really big lunch. Yeah, I guess. Where are you going? To the bathroom. Okay. What you just saw was an example of the disease of bulimia. Bulimia is when a person purges on food and then later binges. Here to talk more about the issue once again is Dr. Wilger. Thank you for joining us again, Dr. Wilger. Now that we've learned a little bit of a little bit about anorexia, can you tell us about bulimia? Yes. Um, like anorexia, there's no known cause for bulimia. Um, one of the research states that bulimia is a result of a combination of family history, social values, like a desire to be thin, and personality traits like being more a perfectionist. Um, stressful life events also are a cause to trigger bulimia. Um, for example, like if there's a death of a loved one in your family or another personal issue that has occurred, it could also just trigger to bulimia. Um, some symptoms for bulimia are just eating large amounts of food in short periods of time, like two hours is probably the main time for just <coughs> tons and tons of food. Um, purging, fasting, and misusing pills and medicines such as laxatives are ways to get rid of calories. So. Lots of bulimics, they do purge, and binge and purge, and use laxatives to get rid of the calories that they have. Um, they're also ashamed of overeating. So um, other symptoms are purging and fasting and misusing medicines such as laxatives, and binging and purging, and, like eating drink or taking laxatives could just trigger bulimia. It's what lots of bulimics use to get rid of the calories because it's an easy and fast way to get rid of them. Um, you're also feeling ashamed of eating is another... What? Um, so, lots of feeling ashamed... Okay. okay. Do you want to just start over? No, it's okay. We can just like cut it out in the middle. Um, I'll just like wait a second. Alright. So, feeling ashamed of eat, overeating and just bringing yourself down about eating like a normal size meal is what William thinks of a lot. Um, being secretive about eating is one of the common is a common symptom for bulimia, and they're um, sneaking food around just so it doesn't look like you eat a lot. And yeah, there are lots of other symptoms for bulimia. Um, these are some of the most common symptoms. There are treatments that can help get over and overcome bulimia. There's um, there's psychological counseling for bulimia. It's a step to overcome bulimia. Um, there, the goals for cognitive behavioral, behavioral therapy is eating three regular sides meals a day. Um, it can help get back into the loop of a healthy person and having a healthy diet. Um, also, reducing concern of body weight and the goals of are the goals of overcoming bulimia through cognitive behavioral therapy. Well, thank you for that information. <coughs> We will be selling bees to spread awareness about anorexia and bulimia. As you can see, this figurine is full of negative comments about what anorexic and bulimic people tend to think about themselves. We will be selling blank ones in order to spread awareness. Thank you for joining us tonight, and I hope you'll help me with spreading the awareness of anorexia and bulimia. Thank you.